let's do that, Shuichi. Yeah. Er, yeah. Um. Shuichi, everyone's tag on you, including myself. Please give me the class trial. Everything you've got to send us this through to the end. I really can't talk today. Okay. Uh, at least do that. I am a detective after all. We got this. Oh man. Got the screen tearing. Don't worry about it. Nah, yeah, don't for don't focus on it. Hopefully that doesn't show up on the stream. Oh man, I hope it shows up on just all the streams. <laughs> Alright, to the rooftop then. Dude, this totally not loading zone. Hey, what's that all about? Uh, I'm sorry, I just wanna see if you would log out using a cell phone. Alright, then tell me first that was bad for my heart. <laughs> so I got logged out, I panicked and rushed back here. Okay. Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Come on, that's enough. Don't interfere with the investigation. No, I was interfering. Wait, why'd you guys come back here? Did you finish investigating? Yeah, I wanted to investigate the rooftop next. Okay. One well, with the chapel the whole time. We found her on the ground next to it. Yeah. Let's believe in Suichi's reasoning. Yeah, Suichi didn't do it for sure. He's the ultimate detective after all. Well, if you're gonna be like that, then do whatever you want. Investigate the rooftops or whatever. But Switchy's my sidekick. In other words, his deductions are my deductions. And my deductions are his. Hey, Wait, why are you some crud still like bully? <laughs> Amazing. I mean... Well, I'm gonna investigate Moose Atar since I interrupted last time. Okay. Well, let's do the rooftop, I guess. Yeah. What's on the roof? Is it more evidence? <laughs> oh, Kaido, you really are something else. Yeah, I mean, you really shouldn't use like con swap for your ears, you know. <laughs> I do it ever. I, I do it all the time. All right. Person charges searches or Kaido. Alright, blah blah. Person charges searches area. Kaido was forcibly logged out. Area must have had something to do with the case. So, like, they probably came to the rooftop. They saw Kaido was up here. And she's just like, alright, I'll just log him out. So, there's nothing there that seems to resemble a clue. But Mushu have arranged to meet with Kokichi here. Thought I could at least confirm whether or not she really came to the rooftop, but there's no clues to indicate that. Did she come to the roof? That is an important question. Hey, what's your opinion on something? You think you'd go get up and down from the roof from outside the mansion? Nah, that would be very difficult. Yeah, the rooftop's rather high. Even the edge of the roof is roughly the half of your four-story building. Yeah, it's too high to jump. Which means it would have been impossible to climb up from the outside. Yeah, but... If objects can't break, then maybe jumping would be okay. I know, because if enough trauma to your avatar it would do damage in the real yeah, world. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's true. Falling off, uh, falling off of a three to four story roof would really hurt. Yeah. So we're looking for a culprit with broken legs. <laughs> He's going around the room. It's like, okay, is anyone not able to stand? Everyone just stands up. He's like, fuck. Hmm. What's wrong, Hibiko? When murders happen in a mansion in the snow like this, 
There are always locked room mysteries created by piles of snow, isn't that right? But it's disappointing you can't leave footprints on the snow in this world. Yeah, is that something we disappoint about? Yeah. Hey, what's wrong, Sabuki? Look at the doorknob, it's locked. Yeah, it's the turn thumb turn lock. Easy to lock. Yeah, it seems like you can't lock it unless you're on the outside. And look, the keyhole's on this side of the door. Is it usually the other way around? Well, I've seen this before to prevent you from locking yourself out. Oh, is that so? Oop top is a lock on the door. That's important information. Yeah, might be directly connected to the case, but I should invest these. Well, I should invest these binoculars. See the builder is on top of a hill, and yeah, there's the point of no return. But that's strange. Why the map blowing point be right in the middle of the world? Something doesn't seem right. Hmm. Yeah, storage room. A little different from how I remember. Feels as if something's missing. Missing. Yeah, so one paying close attention to the first time sound room. Well, it's the lattice. Pretty obvious. Man, I'm just like extra bad at this today for some reason. <laughs> what, speaking? Yeah. I don't worry about it. There you are, I was looking for you. Yeah, why are you here? Thought you were analyzing the program. Yeah, Martar finished as long as like the program, so he told me to gather everyone. <laughs> okay, we should pry it back then. Our investigation here is pretty much done, right? Yeah, you're right. I've been t I've investigated everything I need to. Yeah, we'll head back first. No, I want to say goodbye to my avatar. Do you like it that much? No, oh, we should go too. Yeah, what's wrong? We're definitely more liable in a class trial than out. All of yours think so too. Wait, what? Not trying to side cow, but I don't think you should carry all the burn alone. You're Suichi Saikara. Before you're a detective, but don't ever forget that. But I shouldn't be talking. I threw away my identity as Maki Hurukawa be an assassin. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Is she being considerate? <laughs> so let's see. Here's what tells. All right, so I need to like. All right. Yeah, you gotta log out. I don't know why I was trying to go outside. <laughs> it's just you and me. We should log out too. Yeah, by the way, did something happen between you and Kaido? Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Well, we logged out a little while ago, it looked like he was in a bad mood. Yeah, that's probably my fault. Well, that would happen, but... Yeah, the idiot's simple, so I'm sure he'd forgive you if you just apologized. <laughs> Cut to like the end of the game, Kyle's like, I still hate that you did that. Can't believe you, Shuichi. <laughs> He's just giving you the death stare. He's like, damn you. <laughs> He's like, it's been like weeks though. <clears throat> okay. Shuichi. Isn't the real world way better than some virtual reality? Anyway, I felt so alone without you around. Apologize for making me feel unloved. Hey. That's something I want to ask you. Yeah, I totally didn't dry thin your time while you were logged in, okay? <laughs> huh? Wait, what? 
Yeah, I'm kidding. So, what is it you wanted to ask? Well, you plan to meet Will on the roof, right? Did you end up meeting her? Oh, uh, so you know about that, Suichi. Impressive, Mr. Ultimate Detective. Actually, it's not something you would have known without Kibo's help. Yeah. Alright, so I'll tell you what happened. Nerve no, up with Moo. I couldn't get to the rooftop because it was locked. After I gave up and went back to the salon to search for the secret of the outside world. So is that true, Kokichi? Are you doubting me? Yeah, can someone verify you're at the salon the entire time, though? Did you meet anyone there? Yeah, I... I don't have a witness. <clears throat> but, you can also say there's no witness who can prove I WASN'T THERE! Eh? <laughs> Unless you saw the salon empty yourself. Anyway. Well, it's up to you whether you want to believe me or not. But you should doubt me like that. We're partners after all. <clears throat> Which one is it? Did Kokichi be with Moo or not? See, lying or telling the truth. Which is it? It's like that sounds like, you know, like a believable, like, you know, thing someone would lie about. He's being somewhere. Yeah, he's like, oh hey, this guy heard that, you know, like. I was supposed to meet up with this person, so I'll say, like, oh yeah, I did meet up with them. Like, the door was locked, couldn't happen. Oh. And it's like, okay, you know. Like, that makes a lot more sense, I think. Hey! Yeah, I've been waiting for you, Suichi. Sure, Maki already told you, but I finally finished analyzing the program. Start putting together a lot of important facts, so here they are! Yeah, he's, he's really trying, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, the person who tampered with this program was Mommy, like we suspected. Mommy is an eccentric way of writing her code, so I knew it was her right away. That's actually pretty impressive. <laughs> Guess her person I wasn't the only eccentric thing about her. <laughs> Wait, so she did tamper with this? So what did she tamper with? Oh, okay, a few things. <laughs> I'll share the first one with you. Looks like why well, delete a lot of objects for the killing game simulator. Yeah, she lit anything that'd be used as a weapon. But in that case, why is there a hammer? Yeah, only the hammer was left. But why was it left? Hmm. <sighs> The way of Progro is written makes it seem like she did it on purpose. So did she add anything? Well, we found a cell phone in the virtual world. No, the cell phone was an original feature of the program. Okay, so she hid that from us. All my ad were the two maps. The rest were already part of the program. Wait, what? What? All mommy added were the two maps. The rest was already part of the program. Oh, he means like the map she drew. Yeah. Yeah, the map, the yeah. map, the maps of the world and the inside of the building. Yeah, for a second I was just like, wait, did like, Moo create like the entire overworld map as like a cover for what really was like there? <laughs> nah, she created the... <sighs> <laughs> she created the uh, the map that you can read on the wall. All right, that makes a lot more sense. So, bar talk about objects. I'd, yeah, I want to ask you something. We used the sideboard to cross the river, but could we have just used something else as a bridge? Huh. I don't really say anything that could have been used as a bridge to cross the river. Yeah, it's only that sideboard could have been used as a bridge. So, what's the next thing she tampered with? Well, it looks like she also tampered with certain parameters of the program. Okay. Everything in that program is categorized as either a human or a non-human object. Of course, Erin's avatar is assigned the human parameter. Really? But for some reason, Mike gave her avatar the non-human object parameter. Okay. That's... And what happens when you become an object? 
Well, the difference is only for identification purposes, so it probably didn't affect anything. But if it did affect anything, then why would she have gone out of her way to do it? Yeah, perhaps that's something to do with the next thing she tampered with. Mommy had a wall that didn't originally exist in the program. Okay, that's big. <coughs> Cords of the virtual world are represented on the X and Y axis. Seems like Mommy had a wall that runs the length of the Y axis. Okay. So she created the load zone. Walls are all four directions and two down the Y axis. Hey. You're positive there's only one. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely the only one. What does that mean? <clears throat> Which wall was the one Moo added? What was the world like originally? Moo said there wasn't anything past the wall. Was that another lie? Um. It's like the extra wall is doing a special setting. Setting that allows non-tuned objects to pass through it. Okay. I see. So that's very interesting. So are those all the things she tampered with? Ah, oh, there's one more thing. So I want you guys also a strange set go to their avatar. Okay. okay. Yeah, segments uh, they would be able to move if mommy touched them. Huh. So if Moo touched them, their avatar would be paralyzed? Hey. And who was it? Ah, it was Kokichi! Wait, what? I didn't know that! <laughs> Well, duh, I wouldn't know. I never touched Moo in that world. I see, I see. I didn't even notice. So that's all after the report. Well, do you think it'll help you guys out? Yeah, that's interesting. So, like, at least the implication here <laughs> is that Moo was expecting to kill, like, Kokichi. Like, potentially. Or at least, like, you know, trap him there. Seems to be the implication. Yeah, and she, like, created this whole sub so she could, like, do it without being noticed. Like, it's implied that the wall they're talking about is on, like, the left or right side, but, like, I'm thinking it might also be possible that, like, the wall they're talking about could be the loading zone. Mm. Okay. So maybe she was trying to, like, yo, know, meet with Kokichi so she could, like, yo, know, take him out. <laughs> and she locked Kaido out, went upstairs. Sai so wasn't, like, there for whatever reason, maybe. And, like, she went back down, tried to, like, rejoin the group. And somehow, huh, you know what, like, maybe Kokichi, like, found the sign beforehand, like, crossed the load zone, and then, like, you know, like, pushed it off again, because he, like, knew where, no, but then he won't be able to get back. Huh. Probably Tia's too, though, it's probably not really that's the case. Some sort of avatar used error occurred when you all logged in for the first time. Oh, an error? Contents of the error are unknown, so I can't provide any details. But something strange definitely happened to someone's avatar when you all logged in. So I don't think anyone's avatar was acting strange, though. So what kind of error could it be? That's important information. Okay. You're like, what? 
So whenever I'm logged in, there is an error. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming the error might have been the, like, you know, like, moves Avatar was screwed with because of all the, like, things here was changing with it. And, you know, when she, like, went past the load zone or, like, tried to do something, maybe that's how it glitched out and her Avatar, like, made a copy or something that stopped moving. Mm -hmm. It's and, time. Yeah. The heck are you doing, Makuma? It's like hanging over the back of his chair. Okay, I thought it was like hanging from the ceiling by his beard or something. <laughs> nah, he's just hanging over the back for some reason. Okay, everyone. Time for the class trial. <laughs> yeah, the thing where everyone stands in a circle and talks about the dead body. Yeah, hello, Ergy. Me. Nah, nah, I'm excited, really. Just taking a little break right now. When I'm done, I'll be, use I'll be my usual energized self. <laughs> yep, I'll be way more energized. Anyway, that's all. Just got booze next to him. Hey! See, I could not into it all. We don't have to do the class trial, you know. I, I think we do, Emiko. <laughs> Let's get a start, huh? We no can stop anymore. So, I don't have a sole idea of like what this case is gonna be, but I definitely have some ideas around. I'm your friend. The problem is like all the ideas I'm having are like straightforward enough that I'm kind of. Hold on. Okay. Yep. This is my, yeah, my mom again. Don't worry about it. It's fine. All right. Yeah. Go to feels relieved. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, Montaro. See, so she'll get revenge for Moose's death. i will get revenge by finding the culprit among us. Yeah, he's right. The culprit is someone here. Yeah. Well, thanks so much, everyone. This class trials of right. Hopefully, we all get to know each other better. Yeah, the cat thing, the cat blind that triggers the death flag. I was about to say. I want a fresh start. I won't make up for my past mistake. That too. Yeah. <laughs> Me, you all, is really... Sorry. Sorry, it's nothing. I'll say it for after the class trial is finished. <laughs> yeah, the flag is rising! <laughs> Monotaro just... Sit, triggering all the death flags. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, let me, like, just like, I just want to see my wife and kid again. <laughs> when, when this is all over, I'm gonna go back to school. I'm just one day away from retirement. <laughs> Did you watch the latest JoJo? <laughs> yeah. Oh boy! <laughs> Pe people on Twitter making jokes about like when when the uh, when someone in the party starts saying stuff like <laughs> starts saying stuff like when this is all over and like whatever. Yeah. And it's like it's like a it's like oh, a picture man. of a character with like a worried look on their face. <laughs> like Araki's a great writer in a lot of ways. He does not do subtlety. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's not what you're into. Like, the the flag is rising. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Like, if he wants you to, like, think a character's bad, that character will be murdering babies in the street. That character will kill a dog. <laughs> They'll kill all the dogs. Bad guy kills dog. Villain established. They'll literally be laughing over the dog's body. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what was that? I think I heard something over there. Alright! I'll check it out all by myself! <laughs> <laughs> now he's doing it. Now he's gotta be doing it on purpose. Oh boy. There it goes. What did you say? It's waving in the wind! Quit <laughs> screw around, let's hurry up and go. <laughs> Oh, man. I wonder which Mana couple die next. <laughs> Montaro's just like, 
<laughs> yeah, I can't wait to see all your smiling faces after this. <laughs> We're all gonna be friends forever. The first thing I'm gonna do after this is eat a pizza. <laughs> I think that was one of his lines. <laughs> Just like looks at Mafe, he's like, yeah, once this is all over, we're gonna bang so hard. <laughs> Grandma's, there's something like that from like Gurnlock. <laughs> huh? Where it's like a character's just like, yo. Know, Goes to all the field characters, and they're just like, yeah, after this is over, I'm gonna rock your world or something. I don't remember that. <laughs> and then they die super hard. I, I know about, uh, uh, Yoko's kiss of death, but I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, like, I will, like, spoil it specifically for anyone who hasn't seen Girl Logan yet, because it's a great series. Yeah. But spoilers, yeah. watch yeah. out for anybody Yoko shares a kiss with. <laughs> yeah, there's like a very specific line where it's just implied like, yeah, we're gonna have sex so hard after this. I don't remember that. Oh, man. And like, they sort of go out and like the death happens. And it's like, oh man, it's so foreshadowed. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so excited. I'll definitely expose the culprit this time. <laughs>